Hello everybody, Ash and Wes here. Today is our first edition of our vlog and we're headed to the Portland Children's Museum. So they have a thing called a spout exhibit. It just opened up for newborn to three years old and it's a baby sensory museum and we're gonna check it out so you first time parents can go as well. Awesome. Textures important, huh? They're important for sensory and for you to feel, to understand what different things feel like and explore. So these are really cool walls too because there's all sorts of different kinds of feelings. And babies love touching everything. So. Yellow. What do you see? I see orange. <laughs> I see feathers. <laughs> Let's put it down so you can see. Nice photo. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Welcome to the Guy family, Wesley here. Ashley. And yesterday we went on our first trip to the Portland Children's Museum and it was a great exhibit. They have the Spout exhibit going on right now, which engages all the sensory and motor skills for early infant and children from ages zero to three. And it was just great to get Anaya outside of her normal environment, playing with different textile toys that have different fillings for her to explore 
as well as color room that was lit with LED sensor lights and she was able to change the different colors with her hands and feet and really get her movement and motor skills going. Right, and now that she's eight months going into nine, she is a mover, so she likes to crawl around, and um, we're always scared she's going to hit something, so that room is also padded everywhere, and there's lots of stuff on the ceiling and on the walls, like mirrors and different tinkle lights, uh, lots of sounds, so she's able to go off and explore, and we don't have that anxiety of her like hitting her head or turning over and getting hurt because everything is basically padded and made for babies to kind of be free and move around. So now we have our very own daughter here joining us. Say hi Anaya. Ah, she <laughs> recognizes her name. Yeah, so she woke up. As we were saying before, this was a great place for her to explore with her hands. As you can see, she's very active with grabbing, feeling, getting all of her senses involved, whether they be her hands, feet, mouth, even though we don't want her to mouth certain objects, it's great for her to still explore those objects. What I really liked about mm -hmm. the exhibit was the area for pretend play. They had a pretend uh, kitchen where, though she's too young for it, she was still able to pick up different elements from the exhibit and explore those. And this just gets her imagination involved. Therefore, she's able to visualize herself doing things before she's even of age to do those things. Mm. It's never too early to engage with her mm. motor skills, her cognitive skills, mm. and her uh, psychomotor skills, mm. which is her brain functioning mm. with her movement. Mm. Yeah, and it's another um. great way for a family that has a small baby to find an activity to do together. It's very family friendly. They had an excellent changing room that is big enough for everybody. They have really good food options. What I really loved was that when we ordered food, we were able to buy steamed vegetables for her and it was soft enough for the um, young babies. They had really good options for adults too. who were trying to eat better due to different health situations. So you had the quinoa and cashew bowl, the, yeah, vegan, yeah. the vegan bowl, and then I had a panini. It was really good. Um, we also were able to talk to other families and kind of share experiences. And then, um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, also to add, what we really enjoyed about the exhibit was the fact that it's drop in. You can drop in at oh, any yes. given time and that, you know, a lot of baby gyms and museums don't necessarily offer that outside of a membership, which can be oh. very hard and pressing financially if you don't have the help or you just don't have the funds at the time. But this museum is great because you can come in anytime, Monday through Sunday, and you can visit. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty affordable. Anaya got in free, and it was uh, under $15 for adults, which is a plus. So I definitely recommend this exhibit in the Portland Children's Museum, Portland Children's Museum in general to all families. Definitely. And we'll definitely, I think it's worth getting a membership too because not only can she engage in it from now, it's, it adds everything for all the age groups going all the way up to like, I think 12, 13. I mean, even older kids, we had fun even as adults. There's so much to do. Yes. So thank you for tuning in to our first episode of Welcome to the Guy Family. This was a recap of Anaya's first trip to the Portland Children's Museum. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for more videos and we appreciate everybody for tuning into our channel and have a blessed day. Peace.